welcome to the Bob Log. Now I'm currently sat in my Tempest on a little lake in Derbyshire. It's a day ticket, it's open to anyone, so I'm really hoping I can try and catch myself a few carp. Now the Bob Log. I'm going to be documenting my fishing throughout this year. I'd like to consider myself a carp angler, but I am pretty multi-species, so I'm sure there's some of that in store for you later in the year as I continue to document what I'm doing throughout. And she's in the net. <laughs> So here she is, first one from a new venue, from the far bank, not crack a pop up, fluorocarbon D-rig, job done. Now I think it's time to put this one back, try and catch another one, because I think I deserve a stir fry and a glass of rosé. A lively one. <laughs> Fish number three. Last night was fairly productive. Um, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. I had this one maybe an hour or so ago. Just waited it for it to get a little bit brighter. But, uh, clouds starting to lift. It looks like we're in for another lovely day. So we'll put some more bait in the spoon with the old uh, spoon on the far bank and see if we can trap another one.
stopped in there. <laughs> he was like, Alan! And I was like, it's me! <laughs> You're right, mate. How you doing? I'm uh, not bad at all. I can hear you now. Yeah, we're on our way, mate. Slowly, slowly but surely, we're on our way. We've got about half an hour before we uh, before we get to the lake to do a spot of roach fishing. So obviously, there was a bit of a change of plan. This morning we did actually intend on uh, in, on being on the uh, new syndicate, but after a brief conversation with John Walker at work yesterday. We were invited down to uh, to Alderfen Fisheries to do a bit of silverfish fishing um, to try and sort out some of the stock levels there. So I'm hoping uh, we'll have a good day of sport. And if I'm honest with you, I have got some floater gear with me. I know there's plenty of carp to try and catch. So I'm hoping that if I can uh, catch enough silverfish, I'll get permission to try and catch some carp too. But we'll see how it goes. Got to get there first. A bit warmer. Fine example of a man right there. We're meant to be trying to catch some bream and tench and John Walker's got a lovely reed line to the left of his swim and it just so happened that he snuck off for five minutes, I don't know where he went, so I took advantage of the situation and here's a lovely plump common to show for it. Um, nice one John, thanks mate. <laughs> Number two, another little one, more than welcome. Yeah, the Bream and Tench really haven't played ball at all. And John's just had to shoot off. So, why waste our time trying to catch fish that don't want to feed when the carp are more than obliging to? So now we're down the syndicate. Uh, we got down here a little bit ago now, and we've had a good walk around. You know, it's important to sort of see where the fish are mooching about before you jump into any swim. But we're quite lucky because we've got the place to ourselves today, so we've had the good chance to see where they are. And I've gone around, trickled a bit of bait in, uh, a bit of pellet, a bit of hemp, some nice maggots in there, lots of little bits from to get grubbing around on, get really feeding. Seen a nice bait to the right of where we're going to set up camp for the night. I have seen plenty of fish moving in there in the past, so I'm confident that I'm going to get a bite out of there. But I'm going to do something a little bit different on that rod. The other two rods, probably going to chuck them out on chods, uh, chuck a bit of bait over the top of them, and see if anything on them. But other than that, it's not a great deal of complexity to it. Um, it's a bit of luck, really.
So we've lost one. It happens, but the rods haven't been out for that long. And obviously the fish have already came in and found the food. So we're on the fish. We've got plenty of time still to go. All I can do now is check that my hooks are sharp. The rigs work, I know that. So it's just a matter of time really. But I'm sure I'm gonna be checking in with you soon with a lovely carp on the mat. So I've just polished off a few burgers on the barbecue. What a treat that was. Uh, I love days like this, you can get away with it, it's beautiful. Tempest is up behind me now, uh, settled in for the night nicely. The rods are still out, uh, probably gonna do them pretty shortly. They need to be done. I'm not happy leaving them for the night. I wanna be sure that they're fishing effectively, they're primed and everything's right with them. I don't wanna take any chances with that. So it's the morning, coffee time. I haven't had much sleep if I'm honest with you. And it's not my own rods that have been uh, keeping me awake, it's been Liv's. Uh, she had a sizable bream of about 10 pound and uh, a personal best mirror and it's a lovely scaly fish, beautiful it was. So I don't mind being kept up for that. My rods on the other hand, very quiet. So I think it's time to have a rethink of the tactics that I used last night. Liv's obviously, uh, she was on the fish for sure. We saw the fish there yesterday. So I think I'm gonna to have to have a move around, see if I can try and tempt one. Granted, not the intended species, but a fish nonetheless. <laughs> I just saw a, a pipe in the margins down here, so I dropped the dropped jig right out. Sure enough, it was, uh, it was more than happy to have a go. <laughs> I've had a good walk around. Fish have been cruising about. We've seen plenty of them about. I've been casting a few, a few baits at them, but they're not interested in anything at the moment. I suspect that they're just having a bit of a bathe. So uh, I think we're going to cut our losses, get out of the heat for a bit, and try again later on a different venue. But we'll get back to that later. Time to get home.
What an absolute relief. Beautiful fish. Free fishing as well, can't beat that. So, it just goes to show, a change of venue can change your fortune. It's 12 and a half pound common. It's the biggest one I've caught from this little lake. It's free fishing water, so it makes it even better. And it couldn't resist a little bit of bread on the surface. So with that, I'm gonna call it a day. So we've been pretty lucky. We came down the lake today just to do some product shots. After my weekend on here, I was pretty gutted to say the least. Um, I really wanted to catch one. So when we came down this morning, I took the rods out, just hoping. And sure enough, it's not taken long and my long range rod's gone. Still trying to fight in the net. So like I said, down here to do a bit of product photography. And sure enough, the rod's gone off. I wasn't expecting it. It was a single chopped to the middle of nowhere, if I'm brutally honest with you. But obviously my luck was in. I'm proper chuffed with this one. It's my first one out of the uh, syndicate. So with that, I'll see you next time.